Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my office. This is a video that I have been trying to record for almost six months, but I will be honest, my office is usually a mess. So my office is almost like a storage closet in our house, but it really, really works well because I store so much stuff in it. So if you're not familiar with my channel, I am a homeschooling mom of five kids. My youngest is almost done with second grade and my oldest is almost done with ninth grade. And so I homeschool a wide range of children and then I also run an in-home daycare. And so my office usually becomes the gathering place for all curriculum, daycare stuff, a bunch of items that we just don't know where it should go. But I try to not let it bother me too much because I feel like um, every house has to have somewhere that becomes a dumping ground. I think I do a pretty good job keeping the rest of my home pretty organized, but my office falls apart pretty quickly. Now I have a little extra time right now, and so I have cleaned up my office, and I thought it would be a great time to show you guys because the organization of my office does not change. So piles might gather, um, but for the most part, the organization and the flow of my office does not change. And it's an also a great time to show you because within a week, there's going to be a bunch of curriculum all over my office. My kids are almost done with school. We have about a week and a half left, and then we take six weeks off, and then we start back again uh, early June. And so that is my time that I prep and plan their entire school year. And so my office really becomes um, just looks like a big curriculum sale. So I want to share with you guys my office. So if you're interested in that, stick around. So I will just give a very quick overview of the office and then I'll go back and explain how I have everything set up. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at my floor. It's all clean. This is usually where uh, piles start piling up, especially once I start getting my kids a uh, new curriculum for the school year. Uh, we'll probably have five piles. I have five kids, so I'll have probably have five piles of curriculum. And then on my desk, you know, obviously paperwork and all that kind of starts piling up. But it is all clean right now, and so it's a perfect time to show you guys. So on this wall, I basically call this my wall of banker boxes. And if you are familiar with my channel, you know I like to store a lot of my daycare curriculum, my daycare activities, my kids curriculum in banker boxes because it is so easy to change them out. I can just scratch off what was in there before, write what's in there now, and it just works for me. They're cheap. Um, I usually buy them at Costco and I can get a lot of them in here at a time and keep all of my supplies organized, especially with my daycare. All I need to do to switch around my daycare classroom is find the month that we're going into. I pull all those boxes and I have everything in there that we will need for the month. And then with my kids curriculum, I can just pull the year that they're going into, look at, look and see what's in there from, you know, previous child uh, before I order new stuff or, you know, different curriculum that works for them. And then here is a magnet board. And on here, I like to keep just, um, these are from Ikea. And there's a big magnet on the back. And then I like to just keep smaller items, uh, you know, rubber bands and tacks and rings and things like that. Um, it's really easy and they don't get lost. Now, the one of my favorite things to keep myself organized is a very simple uh, dish tub. This is from the dollar store and basically any mail or paperwork or anything that I need to absolutely get done gets thrown into this tub. And then my office hours is on Wednesday evenings. And the very first thing I do is um, go through this tub. And so receipts, anything like that, I know it can just go straight into here and I don't lose important stuff. I have had that system for years. It works amazing. I have more banker boxes. I know I had a question about my road trip USA. I did this with my first uh, two boys and then we just kind of put this curriculum aside and I am debating about doing it again this year with my younger three. Um, this is Road Trip USA. It is made by Confessions of a Homeschooler. I will link it below. They did learn a lot of state facts. They did uh, learn their you know, states and capitals. And so for that, it was worth it. I don't think they loved it, um, but I do feel like it is a good curriculum. Um, it doesn't take long to do, maybe, you know, 15 minutes twice a week. So uh, well, I will probably pull that out and do it with my youngest three um, for this next school year. 
And then on this wall, I keep all my printers and uh, laminator and stuff. And I will go through each of these with you guys because I seriously use this stuff daily with homeschooling and with my daycare. So my first one is my printer. I use this thing daily, if not more than once a day. I do use an ink subscription. If you're not familiar with that, I will link a video above um, where I talk about my ink subscription. Um, it is seriously the best thing. This printer is going strong for about three years. It is a great printer. So it's an HP OfficeJet 8710. And then a laminator here I have just a scotch laminator you guys I have had this thing for probably 10 years and I use it at least three to four times a week it still works great they have an updated one but they are still only about 20 bucks and well well worth it now the laminate that I use with it is just in the Amazon uh, basics laminate you can buy the scotch brand they it is a little bit of a thicker laminate um, but it is more expensive than the Amazon basic one and the Amazon basic one works great um, so I will also link that below and those Amazon basic ones go through this scotch laminator uh, just fine and then I have um, a cutter so when I'm laminating and cutting uh, lots of things this comes in really handy and then I have a three ring hole punch that I use a lot and then a binding system this is another just absolute favorite um, so it's a pro click uh, swing line GBC I will try to link find this and link it below as well I got this off of Amazon I use this all the time to bind the kids curriculum to bind um, daycare stuff all the time and what I really really like about it is just like a hole punch so there's nothing you have to plug in you just put the papers up here and then basically basically you're just cutting the holes and then you put the spine through the holes and the and down here is where I keep the spines so you buy just a box of spines and then you can just um, click them closed um, so you don't have to have one of those big old um, binding machines so this has been amazing i use this all the time as well another organizing system that i use because with daycare and homeschooling i have a lot of materials a lot of art materials you can see on this one here i have a lot of uh, papers envelopes stickers and stuff in this one and then over here i have a lot of uh, basically craft activities so how i organize this is i use a labeler it's just a letra tag um and basically you just turn it on you type in what you need you hit print and it prints a sticker right there and then I can take that sticker and and I can just stick it onto any of these organizers and what makes it so nice is that if I switch out a drawer or a bin or use up the art material I can just take that um, sticker off put a new one on and so it's just that system has worked many many years for me so in this organizer i have that laminate this is that amazon basic laminate that i purchased um, down here is sticker paper that i use a lot with my daycare kids and so it's a sheet just like a regular um, printer paper sheet but you can use it for um, like packing labels but i use it to print stuff off and then cut stuff out and like daycare kids can use it for like stickers and I can just print it just the same as um, just regular paper from my copier. Uh, this one is full of construction paper. This one is um, cardstock. Here are just some, some binder organizers and then some like border paper underneath that. This is just a bunch of file folders that I use with my daycare. And this one is just full of stickers. In here, I keep those spines and, and envelopes. And this one, I just keep a bunch of different kinds of cards. And then in the last one is just a miscellaneous uh, daycare stuff. So it's got just a bunch of different uh, note cards and nameplates and things like that. Some clip art stuff that I picked out. It's just kind of, this is just kind of a random box here. And then underneath this here I have, these are just Ikea uh, bins and each one of my four kids that are not in high school, they have weekly folders. And so at the beginning of the year, they will have uh, basically 39 or 40, depending on how many uh, weeks we will be homeschooling. You can see we are almost done. Throughout the summer then I 
put all of the worksheets and stuff that they'll need to complete during the week. And then at the beginning of every week, I just grab their weekly folder and I can put it at my desk and um, all their worksheets are all printed and ready to go. So that's something I do in the summer, but you can see that they are empty and so we are almost done with school. I'm very excited to um, get a little break. And then in this one, this is what I talked about with the instant ink. And so this is the box that comes in when you are running low on ink. They always send you your ink before you run out. And so these ones are all ready to go. And when the printer gets low, it will tell me which one to put in. So these are the ones that are full. And then this box back here is empty ones that are ready to be sent back. You send them back to the company. Um, but I wait until I have a pretty good amount and they send you envelopes to put them in so you don't have to pay shipping or anything to send your ink um, containers back. So that's really nice and this is pretty much full so I need to send um, those back. But the envelope that they send you, you can get a lot of empty cartridges in. Here is just a basic, you know, computer paper. This is my son's um, art bin. I have one son that is really, really into art. And so he has just some different materials in there. And then this is basically just a bunch of school supplies that we use throughout the year. Um, it looks like I do not need to buy markers or colored pencils next year. I have plenty, but that's just a nice place to kind of just store everything. And as uh, things start to run out, the kids know that they can come in and get into that bin and get what they need. And then here's a, another container. So this is basically mostly daycare art materials. And like I talked about my labeler, I love, love, love. And this drawer is all this stuff. I can just chuck all that stuff into this drawer. Um, I'm not wasting time coming up with this crazy long organization system that, that just takes me hours to clean up at the end of the day. I can very quickly, you know, grab what we used throughout the day with daycare and just throw them back into whatever drawer that they need to go into um and then if i buy something new i just you know make a new label slap it on there and throw it into the drawer and so the drawers are you know they are full and they're not super uh pretty or anything but everything that is here is in this drawer and it's really easy to find what i need as well uh, so these banker boxes is another confessions of a homeschooler curriculum so this is a Another one that I did with my first two that I have been saving for my younger three. Um, we will not be doing it this coming school year, but I be, but I think we're going to do it the following school year. But this was a really fun curriculum if you are looking for, you know, around the world learning about um, different countries and continents and stuff. This Exhibition Earth curriculum is really good from her. I will link that below as well. And then in the closet I have my kids homeschool curriculum and then a bunch more uh, binders and organizers and everything that I use on a daily basis. Um, my high schooler used BJU this school year for his Spanish uh, science and geography. And so these are the teacher manuals. And then this was all like the handouts and worksheets and tests and stuff that we've been using. Um, so I keep that here. This is, you know, daycare binders, household binders. I keep a lot of my daycare um, resource books like the ones I use all the time. These are the Tom Copeland books. If you are a daycare writer and you do not have the Tom Copeland books, they are all amazing. My absolute favorite one is the record keeping guide. It's the one that I pull the most, but they are all really, really good. Here's some more um, organizers. I have the same system. I use my labeler to just really quickly label what is in each of the drawers. With my daycare parents, I give out um, yearly evaluations and exit evaluations, and this is where I keep them. So when I'm planning new programs or improving my daycare or coming up with new ideas, I can always get, go back and look at my evaluations. Um, this is a really cool drawer, uh, super simple, um, but it just says family fun vacation. And anytime I come upon like a new restaurant or a new place or something that I was like, oh, that looks like fun. I can just print it or, you know, rip it out of a magazine or wherever I see it and just throw it in this drawer. You would not believe how many times I go back and find really fun things to do on the weekends or something with the family, um, from different ideas that I throw into this drawer that I would probably forget about. In this one is my receipt books that I use with the daycare. This one is just menu planning for the daycare, uh, business cards. So this is just forms that I would 
when I'm putting together their enrollment packets. This is stuff in here that I use with my daycare interviews. These are newsletters and like past newsletters that I just kind of store in there. So when I'm writing my current newsletter, I can look back and kind of see different ideas that I did um, in previous years. And then down here, I have all of my curriculum binders. These are my infant toddler curriculum binders. And everything that we use for the month is in each of these. And then another organization system that I have used for years is this green bucket right here. And with a home business, anything that I need to keep for taxes or anything throughout the year, um, I just throw into this bin. And then when tax time comes around, I have everything in there. If I have a family leave mid-year, I can just put their whole file in there. And I have I don't ever lose anything that I need um, to save for taxes or even just same for records. And then after I do my taxes every year, whatever is in this box then gets filed away for I keep all my stuff for seven years. Thanks for watching my tour of my office. Comment below your favorite organization system that you use either for homeschooling or your home business, daycare, what works for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.